Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to cover a new pattern that is changing everything, especially for the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck and maybe for future products. So that is actually some very good work that Tesla did here. So um, what it's all about, it is a pattern for an automatic tire inflation system for the Tesla Semi. With that, it is also possible to do that with other vehicles. And as it is correctly stated by a few people um, discussing that on Twitter, the Cybertruck will have an inflating tires um, since there is a compressor on board. So this will allow um, Tesla to do the same thing on a Cybertruck. So that is actually pretty exciting. I do really enjoy that. It is a product that could be um, yeah, very nice fitting to the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. Um, the question is about the compressor that is on board of the Cybertruck. If it is um, enough space to put that in a Model 3 or Model Y in the future, because it would be a nice add-on to do that. And um, the question is how much this compressor has in a weight and space and that is the question um, but if they can solve that as well um, they could um, as well put that into a model y and model 3 and that would be pretty exciting um, again the pattern was already filed a few years ago in 2018 but was not granted yet it was granted um, right now so that is actually very exciting and uh, very good news then we are looking into the plan of capacity when it comes to um, batteries. And it's again something that we need to remind ourselves where this entire road of Tesla and other um, car companies is going. And Tesla here with the global goal of three terawatt hours of batteries by 2030. And then we have VW with 240 gigawatt hours um, at the second place. Again, this is all something that is planned, not um, produced yet or nothing that has been built on yet. Um, we do know that VW is investing a lot of money into battery cell production, so they are working on their goal to achieve that. And for Tesla, it's the same. We have the building in Shanghai. We have the building that is ready to go closely in Austin with the new battery cell production. Um, and then we have the battery cell production in Grünheide, Germany. And we do know that initially they said 200 gigawatt hours over here. Um, then they reduced the size. Um, but we also know that Tesla is also able to do more at a smaller size. So it's not clear yet how big the capacity when it comes to gigawatt hours could be um, just from that building that we do see here currently um, under construction. Um, but again, the three terawatt hours is uh, what Tesla wants to do themselves. Um, I don't know if it's included what they do together with Panasonic and Nevada because it's kind of Panasonic is building them. But again, it's in the same building owned by Tesla and Panasonic. Um, if you include that, Tesla is already on a good way um, to reach a significant part of the goal. But till 2030, we do have still a lot and a long way to go. What people forget is that it's really as well about mega packs, mega packs, mega packs. That is also a reason why Tesla needs so much. Then looking at Fremont, we do see some nice traction here. We see a lot of cars. And despite the Model S um, production stop that shortly happened, uh, we'll look into that later on. Um, the parking uh, place looks very good. Um, everything is going according to plan. Looking at the Model Y performance in Germany, the delivery date is now April 2022. Um, again, I just want to um, initiate that Tesla never um, considered to take Model Y performance from China. There's no information such like that. Um, it looks like that a few people are deciding to switch to Model Y performance because they want to have it from Germany and others um, are switching from performance to long range because they don't want to wait anymore that long. When we look into the estimation of Troy Tesla here, um, who is doing a really good job in that, um, he's estimating 15K um, for Giga Berlin in Q2. Um, there's nothing that I would uh, say that I'm very sure that this will happen. 
Again, the difference to Austin though is once Tesla is allowed to produce cars in Grünheide, it can maybe ramp up much faster because they do use the other battery cells and they might not have such a um, constraint on batteries like in Austin when it comes to the 4680 cells. So that might be an advantage if it is coming just to pure numbers. But again, I might be wrong here, but I saw a lot of speculation um, on Twitter today um, what is going on with the capacity of batteries for the Model Y performance, how many cars can Tesla actually produce in Austin with the current um, production rate. Here in Great Britain, we have as well um, new footage from Tesla here with a lot of Tesla cars that arrived in Great Britain. Um, the Model Y is now the new car coming and arriving in Great Britain. So that is exciting and it will really um, further push the numbers um, combined for Tesla in 2022 for Great Britain. Um, personally, I've seen a lot of orders for the company I work for in Great Britain as well. So um, if you want to buy some Tesla accessories, just go on Tessie Supply if you're from Great Britain and you can just um, order over there or just ask me in the comment section. Then we have more ships. We have the last three ships now that left China. They are currently in the Indian Ocean um, and, uh, and they are going towards the Suez Canal. And we have two in the Mediterranean Sea, one that arrived um, near Croatia and one in Zeebrugge, and one should be arriving in Southampton soon as well. For the Model S, we have seen here, um, based on Eric, a picture um, which is showing that the Matrix light are already in a Model S plat um, installed. And this also shows that um, some of them might have already gotten it. Um, again, the production stop that Tesla was talking about regarding the Model S might have been a bit too um, yeah, overblown in the news. Um, Elon Musk talked about that usually you have a break of like maybe a few hours or one or two days when it comes to um, doing something different on the car like they are planning to do with the Matrix LED and only if they really have uh, parts missing they would stop the production for a week. So I don't expect any long production stop for the Model um, S here um, which did sound a bit different yesterday. Um, but again, this um, sounds like more like a um, very short stop. It could be already being back in production um, right now. So that is also good news for Model, Model S and Model X owners waiting for their car. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time and I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you back here very soon. Bye bye.